Can I let you in on a little secret? Did you know that only a teeny tiny percentage of people who watch our videos are actually subscribed to our channel? And we don't want you to miss out on any of the mental health goodness we have in store. So if you're digging what you see, hit that subscribe button and join our happy little community. Plus, it'll make the YouTube algorithm do a happy dance and share our content with even more peeps out there. We promise it'll be worth it. So, welcome to our tight-knit community. You are at your safe place now. All right, let's get real for a sec. We've all had that moment where we've looked in the mirror and wondered if we're hot or not. It's natural to want to feel attractive and desired, but society has made it kind of taboo to openly talk about these things. But let's be real, who doesn't want to feel like a total babe? It's okay to want to feel confident and sexy. So let's ditch the taboo and embrace our inner hotties. Just remember, beauty comes in all shapes and sizes, and there's no one-size-fits-all definition of attractiveness. So don't let society's unrealistic beauty standards bring you down. You're unique and beautiful in your own way, and that's something to be celebrated. And hey, if you're feeling down about your looks, why not treat yourself to a little self-care? Get a fresh haircut, try out a new makeup look, or even rock a bold new outfit. When you feel good on the outside, it'll show on the inside too. So let's break free from the taboo and embrace our inner hotties. After all, life's too short to not feel like a total smoke show. Have you ever caught yourself in front of the mirror wondering if you're a hottie or a naughty? Don't worry, you're not alone in this. We all have those moments where we question our attractiveness. But let me tell you, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Sure, society may have certain standards of what's considered attractive, but who says you have to fit into those boxes? Besides, looks aren't everything. Your sense of humour, intelligence and kind hearts are what really make you shine. But I get it. It feels nice to be desired by others. However, instead of seeking validation from others, let's focus on boosting our self-confidence and love. Do the things that make you happy. Remember, when you feel good about yourself, that positive energy radiates and attracts others towards you. So don't sweat the small stuff. Embrace your unique qualities and be your own kind of beautiful. Have you ever had those moments of self-doubt where you question your own attractiveness? Your BFFs might insist you're a total babe, but you just can't seem to see it for yourself. Well, don't fret, my lovely friend. Here are six sneaky signs that you're actually pretty darn attractive, even if you don't realize it. Okay, so here's the tea. You might be hotter than you give yourself credit for. How do I know? Well, do you ever stumble upon an old photo of yourself and think, dang, I looked good. But when you look in the mirror today, you can't help but focus on your flaws. Girl, same. But guess what? Science says we're more likely to see ourselves in a more abstract way as time goes on. So basically, the more time that passes, the hotter you get. All right, listen up. In a study, researchers took photos of people and asked them to rate their own looks based on how they thought others would rate them. Some lucky ducks were told their photo would be rated the same day, while others were told it wouldn't be judged until months later. And guess what? The ones who had to wait were actually more accurate in their self-assessment. Why, you ask? Well, it turns out that having time between when the photo was taken and when it was judged gave them a chance to step back from their initial self-criticism and be more objective. Pretty neat, huh? After some time has passed, those harsh self-criticisms seem less significant, don't they? Here's a little experiment for you to try. Take a look at a photo of yourself from a few months ago and then compare it to a more recent photo. Are you less critical of yourself when it comes to the older photo? They say you might be a better judge of your own attractiveness when enough time has passed since the photo was taken. 
So don't be too hard on yourself, gorgeous. You might just be hotter than you realize. Have you ever noticed people getting a bit nervous or acting a bit weird when they're around you? It could be a sign that your looks are just too hot to handle. You know that feeling when you're around someone you find attractive and you suddenly forget how to speak? Well, it turns out others might feel the same way around you if they find you good looking. So if you notice someone acting a bit awkward or different around you, don't worry, they might be intimidated by your sheer hotness. Keep slaying and let's move on to the next. You are a social media superstar, right? Have you noticed an influx of friend requests and flirty messages after posting that stunning selfie of yours? Looks like you're quite the catch. You're probably turning heads left and right with your striking looks. And some people just can't help but slide into your DMs hoping for a chance with you. While it's nice to receive all those messages and friend requests on social media, let's not forget that relying solely on online validation can be a slippery slope. Just because you receive a ton of likes on your latest selfie doesn't necessarily mean you're the hottest thing since sliced bread. Remember, social media is a curated highlight reel and people often only post their best angles and moments. So keep the compliments coming, but don't let them define your self-worth. Okay, so let's talk about something we all secretly love. Getting attention from others. If you've ever caught someone staring at you, don't automatically assume there's something on your face or that you've got a booger in your nose. In fact, it's very possible that they just find you drop-dead gorgeous. You know that feeling when you see a stunning sunset and you just can't stop staring at it. Yep, that's the same thing happening here. So, the next time someone's gaze lingers on you a little too long, just take it as a compliment and give them a little wink. Now, let's talk about expecting compliments. So, you know how sometimes you might be hoping for a little ego-boosting remark from someone, but it just doesn't happen? Well, it's totally possible that the other person might assume you're already used to getting showered with compliments. Or maybe they're just worried that too many compliments could come off as too much. But don't worry, just because you're not getting any compliments doesn't mean you're not a total catch. So don't sweat it, my friend. And that's a wrap, folks. Do you consider yourself to be attractive? Would you take a trip down memory lane and revisit your old photos to determine your level of attractiveness? Remember... Even if you don't perceive yourself as the most attractive person in the room, the age-old saying, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, holds true. So focus not only on your external beauty, but also on your internal qualities that make you an attractive individual. You might be surprised to discover some hidden traits that others find attractive. It's important to note that part of cultivating a positive relationship with yourself is recognizing and appreciating your own attractiveness. So before seeking validation from others, take the time to acknowledge and embrace your own unique beauty. Speaking of relationships, are you currently single and wondering why? Well, we have just the video for you. Check out our video on five mindsets that keep you single for some valuable insights into common mental barriers that might be holding you back from finding love. Understanding these mindsets can help you improve your relationship with yourself and others and pave the way for a healthy and fulfilling partnership. Click the link in the description to watch our next video and start your journey towards finding love today.